we are currently in the midst of a series in which we take a look at the seven greatest players from each decade. But this week we're mixing it up a little with a look at the best players born in each of the last seven decades. Obviously, picking a single player over a 10 year time span is no easy task, so we'll try and cover some particularly honourable mentions for each decade as well. Here are the best footballers born in each of the last seven decades. The 1940s, Pele. The outstanding candidate for the 1940s is obviously Pele, who is arguably the greatest footballer to have ever lived. The likes of George Best, Franz Beckenbauer, Eusebio, Sandro Mazzola and Gerd Muller were all also born in the 1940s, although the man who would run Pele closest would be Johan Cruyff. Pele was born in October 1940, meaning he was only 17 when he bagged a brace in the final and was Brazil's top scorer at the 1958 World Cup. A completely revolutionary footballer who had incredible flair, technique and acceleration over short distances which he twinned with his unerring genius in front of goal along with a wonderful leap and heading ability, he was just about the complete centre forward. Pelé remains the only man to have won three World Cups and he scored 619 goals in 638 official matches for Santos. The 1950s, Michel Platini. From Kevin Keegan to Paolo Rossi and Hugo Sanchez, a whole host of names could be thrown into the hat for the 1950s, but ultimately it would be between Brazilian Zico and Frenchman Michel Platini. Both were free kick specialists and both were absolutely world class attacking midfielders. For us though, the decision was relatively easy. The 1950s may arguably be the weakest decade in this seven, but Michel Platini would be a worthy winner in any decade. The greatest French footballer of all time, sorry Zizou but it's true, Platini's legacy has been somewhat sullied by his involvement in recent FIFA and UEFA scandals. We won't get into that, but as a player, Platini combined genius with ruthless effectiveness. One of the game's truly great passes of the ball, Platini was also a master technician and a prolific scorer. His primary duty may have been to create, but Platini bagged 312 goals from 580 appearances over the course of his career. He won three Ballon d'Ors in the 1980s and made the FIFA World Cup all-time team in 1994. The 1960s, Diego Maradona. The 1960s gave birth to great players right the way across the park. Franco Baresi in defence, Lothar Mateus in defence in midfield, Roberto Baggio in attacking midfield and the likes of Marco Van Basten and Romario up front. You could certainly put together a mean five-a-side team with that quintet, but sadly for all of them, there was another footballer born in the 1960s by the name of Diego Armando Maradona. Only Lionel Messi in 2012 could rival Diego Maradona in 1986 as the absolute peak of footballing genius. A tiny man in terms of his height, but an absolute giant in the history of the game, Maradona's ability, control and technique with the ball at his feet is just about without peer in the entire history of the game. He made his name in Argentina with Argentinos Juniors and Boca Juniors, before twice setting world record transfer fees, establishing Napoli as a force within Italian football and inspiring Argentina to victory at the 1986 World Cup. The 1970s, Ronaldo. Thierry Henry, Luis Vigo, Gianluigi Buffon, we could reel off a whole host of credible candidates for the 1970s, but ultimately it comes down to just two names. Ronaldo Luiz Nazario de Lima and Zinedine Zidane. For us, there can only be one winner. Zidane was such a natural footballer with that joyous ability to glide past opponents and on his day, he could both run and win a game on his own. To truly appreciate Ronaldo though, you have to watch him in his early years at Barcelona and Inter Milan. He was unbelievably quick, yet he had total mastery over the ball whatever speed he was going. He made a mockery of world-class defenders on a routine basis. He could beat them for pace, he could faint and waltz past them, nutmeg them, and all the while, they knew he had a devastating shot from both close and long range. If Ronaldo's knees hadn't been so vulnerable, he could be put in the same bracket as Pelé and Messi. As it happened, he missed almost three of his best years through injury and lost half a yard of pace, yet he was still arguably the best player in the world during his time at Real Madrid. That's a mark of his incredible talent and he takes top spot for the 1970s. The 1980s, Lionel Messi. The 1980s is another decade which isn't short on honourable mentions, with the likes of Ronaldinho, Xavi and Iniesta coming to mind. 
but once more, it's a tale of two players, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a tired and often tedious debate, which I suspect we will have restarted in the comments here, but we'll give our two pennies worth once more anyway. Cristiano Ronaldo is without doubt one of the greatest footballers to have ever lived. His consistency, his longevity, his goal scoring, and the way in which he has altered his game with age have ensured that. However, especially in recent years, Ronaldo has been a pure goal scorer. Messi, on the other hand, is a footballer in the truest sense of the word. In addition to having been even more prolific than Ronaldo over their entire careers, Messi is also a genius on the ball, incredibly intelligent, a master in the pass, and a creative force. Sure, Ronaldo has won an international trophy, and he has been more effective in the latter stages of the Champions League in recent years, but when looking at the two players solely in terms of their ability as footballers over all aspects of the game, it has to be Messi. The 1990s, Neymar. We are now getting pretty recent, and when discussing players born in the 1990s, we could mention the likes of David De Gea, Kevin De Bruyne, Eden Hazard, Tony Crows, and many more. Our pick would be Neymar though. Now aged 26, having been born in 1992, Neymar has already scored 269 goals in 439 games at club level, and 53 goals in 83 games for Brazil. Neymar is a fantastic footballer whose ability on the ball when running at pace is a nightmare for defenders. Since the age of 14, he has been touted for greatness, and whilst he hasn't yet overtaken Messi and Ronaldo to win the Ballon d'Or, he is certainly a world-class footballer. Neymar became the most expensive player in history last year when he swapped Barcelona for PSG in a move worth £198 million. The 2000s, Ryan Sessingham. We very recently did a video taking a look at the 7 best footballers born since 2000. Ryan Sessegnon's name may seem a little out of place, but he topped that 7, and of course, no player his age is going to have a reputation to rival the others featured here. The likes of Vinicius Jr, Jadon Sancho, and Phil Foden may have more potential, but at this moment in time, Sessegnon is number 1. The 17 year old has already scored 22 goals in 76 games for Fulham, and he recently beat the likes of Ruben Neves and Adama Traore to the Championship Player of the Season award. So that's it for the top 7. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s.